car prices are absolutely insane right now. This is for new cars and used cars. They keep yes. climbing and climbing and climbing and don't expect relief anytime soon. This is a CNBC story. Now, you guys don't need to take an economics class to be familiar with the concept of supply and demand. We got supply and we got demand. Okay, supply and demand. So there's a low supply of cars and there's a very high demand for cars, new and used, okay? So apparently, uh, regarding demand, there's a low supply demand. There's about four to five million customers, potential customers, consumers sitting on the sidelines waiting for cars or waiting for cars prices to drop, okay? So reasons for this, not to get all economics right now. Basically, there's a supply a supply chain crisis. Every, the ports have been shut down. The world's been shut down for the past two years. So people aren't working. There's a lack of workers, right? There's a labor shortage. And then there's something called microchips or semiconductors that they need to put in the cars and they put into the cell phones, they put everything. So there's a limit on that. So basically, supply and demand, there is you know, high demand. People want cars, people need to move, and there's low supply. Boom, that's your economics lesson right there. Let's get into the numbers. 90% of car buyers are paying more than the sticker price. So here's an example. So for new cars, the average transaction price is higher than the MSRP, the manufacturer suggested real uh, retail price. I almost butchered that one, MSRP. So typically, what does that mean? So if the MSRP is 45 grand, people are paying 46 grand, 47 grand, because usually you go on the lot and you're like, this is 45 all right, maybe you can knock something off. Okay, you can get it for 42. Boom. But now people are paying more, a little bit more for new cars. Now, when you get into news cars, think, uh, uh, used cars, thank you for this um, thing right here. So for used cars, buyers are paying an average of 29000 for a used car. Now, does that is up 28% from a year ago. So for the average used car a year ago, just doing some basic math, if it went up 28%, that means it was on average about twenty grand. So now you go for a used car, it's $19.99. Now they're gonna hit you for $29.99. Boom, it's a 28% increase. So uh, a couple more stats for you. Uh, a year ago, before the pandemic, right, or, or the beginning of the pandemic, it took about 50 days to sell a new car from the lot. Okay, you with me, Nance? Yeah. 50 days. Now, the average time is between 10 and 17 days. That is a record low. So basically, we're, here's where we go here. We got supply. We got demand. Demand is high. People need cars. Uh, there's not enough cars. People are paying more for cars. Cars, 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 cars. And by the way, cars are depreciating assets. You don't want to have to overpay for cars because once you drive it off the lot, it loses about 20% of value. And then every year it loses about 10%. So the point is this. You may not get the car that you want. And if you are, you're going to have to overpay for it. So ladies, let's open this up for you. How important is for you for you to drive a nice car. How important is that for you? Jenny from the block. <laughs> I drive the same car I've had since high school. Oh, you said that so like adorably right there. What was I, that? I love my car so what much. What kind of car is it? I have a Mini Cooper. Uh, white Mini Cooper. White I mini saw Cooper. you circle in the parking lot I over there. Okay. You love your car. But that's a nice, that's a good female car, yeah. the Mini Cooper. Now, if a car. dude was driving like a Mini Cooper, is that... Does I that mean, not a good driving look? a Mini Cooper, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a female car, just putting it out there. So for dudes out there driving a Mini Cooper, step it up, bro. A little bit. Yeah. Nancy, how is it important for you to drive a nice car? Like for you. So I would have drove my car. Like I would have just lasted for one car, but I literally drove my high school car into the ground. Like I even got to the part where... The door handle on the driver's side broke off, and I would go through the passenger side <laughs> for like six months. All right, guys, I gotta drive because what? I didn't want to commit to buying a new car. And then eventually, you're when... very thrifty, though. Yeah, I am. You're very thrifty. You're cutting coupons. You're wheeling. You're dealing. You're stealing. You're doing what you got to do. I've seen you. You operate. You're, you're an operator. Yeah. Yeah. That's how, that just happened. Well, so okay. then when my car finally did broke down, um, I ended up buying like a Honda, a uh, Honda Civic, like the most reliable car ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bu bought it for during like Memorial Day sale or something. Sale, 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 yeah. Memorial Day. It had to yeah. be a sale. <laughs> and you had to be a sale. I'm telling you, she's thrifty. <laughs> and that's literally what I've been driving for the past five years. Yeah. And as soon as that's like paid off, I'm like not, I'm riding that to the ground too. 